Jacob August Reese, Changing the Look on American Society. During the late 1800s, the middle class and upper class residents of New York City were unaware of the poor and dangerous living conditions that were faced by immigrants living in city slums. A handful of people called muckrakers worked to expose the underbelly of society through newspaper articles, books, public speeches, and photographs. One of the most important muckrakers of all time was Jacob A. Reese. Through the medium of photography, Reese was able to reveal to America the way poor immigrants were living. Jacob Reese was born in Rive, Denmark during 1849. He was the third of 15 children. He worked as a carpenter before immigrating to New York in 1870. Reese had trouble finding work and for a while was homeless. Reese worked as menial labor, but eventually became a journalist. He began working for a New York News Bureau in 1873. Later, he worked for the South Brooklyn News, and eventually, in 1877, became a police reporter for the New York Tribune. As a result of his experiences working with police in New York City slums, Reese became an advocate for the poor. Reese argued against the prevailing attitude in America. I see the poor as victims, he said, rather than the indolent that were responsible for their plight. Reese became one of the first photojournalists when he was hired by the New York Evening Sun. Reese began using the state-of-the-art flash powder. Flash powder created a burst of artificial light which helped him take photos of dark slums and New York City at night. During the time of Jacob Reese, it wasn't as simple as going out and taking a point-and-shoot picture with a camera like this. He was using a camera similar to this, and he was using what is known as flash powder, which is similar to flash photography today, except it was much more dangerous. He was able to go into places that people had never seen before, like a dark alley or the inside of a home, and expose it for what it was, and prove to people in black and white what he saw, the truth. In the early 1800s, cities across America were attracting immigrants from all around the world. People started moving from farms to the cities in search of employment. This movement was known as urbanization. Many immigrants were sucked into menial jobs in factories and the meatpacking industry. Immigrants were entering the United States mainly for a better lifestyle and better opportunities. The cities were growing and thriving, but the living was difficult for immigrants that came by boat with nothing. The poor immigrants crammed into tenements, which were usually located at the heart of the city. They lived there with their children and spouses. The middle class lived farther out from the tenements. They lived in apartment buildings and row houses. The rich built grand houses beyond the middle class. They experienced great luxuries, including running water and accessible doctors. Poor families struggled to make a living. The streets were wedged with people, houses, and garbage. This is where Jacob Rees made his greatest contribution as a muckraker. He documented these problems with photographs and displayed them to the oblivious upper-class public. The works of Jacob Rees set him apart as an exceptional photojournalist. His photos of immigrants in the city opened the eyes of many to the plight of the poor. His photos are a powerful tool. They say that a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, his photos speak volumes. He was truly a muckraking photojournalist. By the late 1800s, Reese, along with other reformers, were demanding change. One of his most lasting contributions and legacies was that Jacob Reese's photographs actually helped change the laws in America. It's such a powerful tool as an artist to be able to inspire compassion in a viewer with what you are showing them. What photography is, is a moment of time frozen through your point of view. And Jacob Reese was able to take his point of view of what was happening and change what was going on at the time. As a direct result of his photographs, urban building code laws were created, and street lights were installed. The American city became a safer place to live. Jacob Reese demonstrated that art and perseverance 
could reform a city conquered by poverty and disease.